Prime Minister Narendra Modi today virtually laid the foundation of redeveloping of 508 Amrit Bharat stations in India. Out of the 508 train stations, Dimapur train station was also selected as one of the Amrit Bharat station. On this occasion, Governor of Nagaland, La Ganesan, thanked the centre and Prime Minister Modi for selecting Dimapur railway station. He said that one advantage of Dimapur railway station is that it lies at the centre of the city. Therefore, integral development has been considered for both the side of the station, front side to rear side. The redevelopment of Dimapur railway station is long overdue and I must acknowledge and thank the central government and the Ministry of Railway on behalf of the people of Nagaland for this initiative. Dimapur is the largest city of Nagaland and it is the state's major commercial hub and it is the main gateway of Nagaland. Dimapur is also an important uh, transit point and gateway for the majority of the people of Nagaland, Manipur and the adjoining districts of Assam. It was inaugurated in 1903 and since then it has become the second busiest railway station in the whole of Northeast India. This speaks so much about the importance of Dimapur. It is not only used to transport people and goods, but it is also integral for the security of our nation and it facilitates easy movement and deployment of our security forces. One advantage of Dimapur railway station is that it lies at the center of the city. Therefore, integral development has been considered for both the side of the station, that is front side and rail side. I am glad that passengers' amenities and safety have been given utmost importance and the conditions laid down under the Accessible India Campaign, AIC, for the differently abled have been duly considered and taken care of by incorporating ramps, lifts, escalators and stands of a gentle slope. Another thing I noticed as I came is the beautiful station building with a traditional ethnic Naga motif and architecture. The parking space are also ample and uh, even the other passenger amenities like uh, local uh, produce shops, food court, children play area and other shops have been well taken care of. I remember well when I had visited uh, Australia long back, my friends have taken me to a railway station. Actually, I want to travel in the rail train. And I was surprised, see, you told me that you are taking to your railway station, but you are entering to the airport. No, no, it is not the airport. Please wait. Actually, I was really surprised. It is just like an airport. So that way the amenities can be. Here our Dimapur railway station also will soon become like that, I hope so. With that. I am also informed that the special arrangements have been made for the solar panel, energy saving, green building and rainwater harvesting. Now with the selection of Dimapo as one of the sister stations in the northeast region to be developed as a world class railway station, we are very proud and honoured for a hilly state with some connectivity bottlenecks this has come as a big blessings for the people of Nagaland. I once again thank the central government and the leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji and the Railway Ministry for selecting Dimapur. I hope and pray that this will offset and reinvigorate our effort for the progress and development of Nagaland. In a program in Dimapur, advisor for labor, 
employment and skill development, Mohatushi thanked the center for selecting Dimapur and requested the railway officials to promote local boys and girls. He also spoke on the need to promote civic sense so that we can enjoy the fruits of development. Also speaking at the program, Advisor for Tribal Affairs, Tovi Oto Ayemi, also thanked the central government and reiterated that Dimapur railway station was not only a lifeline of Dimapur or Nagaland, but it was also serving purpose to many other neighboring states. I am honored to be here this afternoon to attend the Foundation Stone Lane program of uh, uh, mo modernization and uh, the redevelopment, development, upgradation of railway station, especially of the Mapur railway station under Amrit Bharat station scheme. In a short while, Honorable Prime Minister will officially uh, lay the foundation stone for these many stations, 508. I am immensely delighted to be here on this uh, historic occasion. The Mapur railway station, as we all know, is one of the oldest railway station in the uh, Northeast region. It is more than 100 years. It was inaugurated way back in 1903 and uh, it has served its best. This is, this station is not only the lifeline of Nagaland or Dimapur, but it has also served its purpose to many other places near neighboring states, not only Assam, but also Manipur. And today, under the able and dynamic leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister, the Government of India has announced Amrit Bharat Station Scheme, where the Mapur Railway Station is also considered and included in this project, where about 200 and 83 crores has been allocated for the Dimapur railway station for the upgradation and redevelopment and making the world class station. The citizen of Dimapur, the citizen of Nagaland is really very happy to witness this historic occasion and uh, where all our people will be benefited. I want to thank Government of India, I want to thank the Indian Railways for the inclusion of the Mabu Railway Station. With these few words, I want to thank all of you and uh, I want to wish the Indian Railways the best and we see soon the world-class station of the Mabu Railway Station. Thank you so much for the time. Today is a historic day for the people of Nagaland, especially for the citizen of Dimapur. It is a moment we have been waiting for so long. We have been dreaming about it. We have been desiring to have this, the world-class railway station. Therefore, on behalf of the people of Nagaland, and on my own behalf, I want to thank our Honorable Prime Minister Moody G and the Minister, Union Minister for Railways, communication, and uh, information technology for inclusion of our railway station in the renovation transformation scheme of railways out of the 37 railway stations selected. The Mapur is also one for which we are grateful and thankful. As we all know, Indian Railway is the biggest and the most robust and logistic network in the world in which we are proud to be a part of the many railway stations that has been included under the Amrit uh, Parat Station Scheme. 
The goal of this scheme is to develop a sustainable railway station with world-class amenities, value-added services, premium waiting lounges, cafeteria, food court, and many, many more. One of the features which attract me most is the shop selling and promoting local products. Uh, boots do vocal for local, which perhaps will solve the very high unemployed problem in Nagaland. It will go a long way to help alleviate the pathetic conditions of many of the Naga youths that we are facing today. And it will generate, I hope, livelihood activities for many. In this connection, I would like to request with all humility to the railway officials of the Northeast do to promote our local boys and girls in all the activities that are likely to come under this uh, Amrit Parat railway scheme so that at least we local boys get benefit out of this scheme in a big way. In conclusion, I also want to make an appeal to all the citizens of Nagaland as the world-class railway station is coming into being in Nagaland, we also need to change our behavior, attitudes, and the civic sense should be promoted to world-class so that we also enjoy the fruit of development in Nagaland. Thank you.